picked up a uh, 55 liter uh, fuel tank out of a Model A here, it's a stainless steel fuel tank. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to put it in the Hupmobile or if I'm going to put it in the Jeep. If I put it in the Jeep, I think I could probably just lay it flat. And just have this filler reach out of the uh, wheel well on the driver's side. And I'd probably fill this thing up and just add a bung on the bottom and then manually drain it into the main tank whenever I need to use it and I can just leave it empty when it's not needed. It's 17 inches uh, in this dimension here, 33 inches across and then it's uh, 6 inches uh, tall when you look at it here. It was meant to be standing up behind the uh, driver's seat in the uh, Model A Ford so it just had a drain on the bottom for feeding the engine but the person I picked this up from they put in a, an underslung tank they didn't want one inside the cab if I put this in the Hupmobile I need to put the uh, fuel sender on top the uh, vent needs to go on top I need to put like a an auxiliary little bottom part on it to catch fuel to give it, send it to a high pressure pump. So if I'm going to use it on the Hupmobile, it requires uh, quite a bit of modification to get that to work. And then this uh, filler is on the wrong side. I would need to relocate it over here. None of that's very difficult. And it seems like it's pretty thick stainless steel. So I'm pretty happy with that. I would be comfortable having that underneath of a vehicle. They bent it in a brake on uh, this corner here and this corner here then welded the uh, other sides of it. Apparently the person who built this was actually a welder and built the car that it went into so it uh, seems like it's well done. It's got a VDO gas gauge. It won't fit in or it won't work in that position and uh, to get one to work on a six inch tall tank may be a bit difficult. So take a look just keep this in mind. So this would be facing forward if it stayed on the Hupmobile's filler side. So the fuel tank goes in behind the differential underneath that hump. Don't have the fuel tank here right now. It's in another town. So the fuel filler on this would end up being under the fender which is not where it was supposed to be so I'd have to chop it off and run it through uh, this hole here. A 34 Ford fuel tank looks like it can kind of fit but they're like five times what I paid for that other tank and uh, I think I can make that tank work is basically what I'm getting at. So one way or the other either I'm going to add five hours of range to my Jeep or I'm going to put this in the Hupmobile or I might just put this on the floor. It's just a test tank because I can just put gasoline in this and or put it on a shelf and I can run engines off of it when I need to. So well, all kinds of options. It seemed like the price was right. So it was worth uh, the risk on that. So I uh, just thought I'd give you a little update on where I'm at with the vehicles here. So thanks for watching.